Hi! Today we will talk about an electrical cardiac axis and how we can interpret it quickly. Subscribe to my channel for more videos. The electrical axis is a projection summary vector of ventricular depolarization on the frontal plane. In typical situations, the electrical and anatomical cardiac axis are similar and generally down and to the left. The electrical axis can be normal, and normal axis deviation in different pathological situations are left axis deviation, right axis deviation, and extreme axis deviation. How we can interpret it? We have some methods, and one of them is to calculate the alpha angle. Alpha angle is an angle between vector of ventricular depolarization and first limb lead. The first step is to calculate the summary of Q, R, S waves at lead 1 and at lead 3. For example, on this ECG, summary of Q, R, S waves at lead 1 is plus 7. At lead 3 is plus 3. Next step, we look at this table and find this meaning. Lead 1 plus 7 and lead 3 plus 3. Alpha angle is plus 45. It's the normal cardiac axis. And at this slide you can see the definition of alpha angle for different types of axis. The second method is more simple. Look at the R wave at lead 1, 2 and 3. When the axes are normal, R wave maximum at lead 2. Left axis deviation, R wave maximum at lead 1. And right axis deviation, R wave maximum at lead 3. And the third method is the analysis QRS complex at lead 1, 2 and AVF. When we see a positive QRS complex at all three leads, it's normal axis. When we see a negative QRS complex at lead AVF, it's left axis deviation. And when we see negative QRS complex at lead 1, it's right axis deviation. Some ECG for training. On this ECG, we can see positive QRS complex at all three leads. It's normal axis. On this ECG, we can see negative QRS complex at lead AVF. It's left axis deviation. And on this ECG, we can see negative QRS complex at lead 1. It's right axis deviation. Thank you for watching my video. If you want more videos about ECG, subscribe to my channel.